Hey, what's up, guys? So I got some good stuff planned for today. Uh, you guys should like it, hopefully. Uh, check this out here. It's got this stuff right here. So uh, right, start off like I used to use this on my uh, red car. I just kept it around because I figured I'd use it on this one. It's uh, the Pexy AFC Neo, but like lets you add or take away up to 50% uh, like your fuel there. So like I can pretty much just like fine tune everything for all the modifications I do and like make sure I don't blow my engine up, but. Most importantly, I got this here. It's like an AEM uh, wideband O2 sensor friggin' set up here. So, check this out. I got the gauge there. I have the same one in my red car, uh, but I use like this silver with the uh, white face. But like, I think I'm gonna be using like the black face with the black uh, ring on this one here. So, I don't know. I just gotta like go through this and uh, install the O2 sensor there. So, I have to weld on like an O2 bung on that. Uh, mid pipe I made there but you can see the O2 sensor right here so yeah I'm just gonna weld that bung on like so I'll have to pull off the mid pipe weld the bung on and then toss this in and then I'll just start wiring it up and uh all right so I got my mid pipe off here yeah kind of screwed myself over when I put the cat on there so I'm gonna have to go like just right before the catalytic converter here in the neck part of it there and put the bung right there so I don't know, I'm just about to tack that on and then I'll drill the hole through it after and uh, I'll make a little video after I guess. Yeah, so I got the O2 sensor all installed in that mid pipe there, so it went on pretty good. So uh, you can see it, I'll hit my light here. I don't know, you can kind of see it sticking out through there, so that's good. So uh, I just have to toss this back on the car there and uh can start wiring everything up. So. Alright guys, so it took me a little bit but I found a good spot to put that there. Um, you can see it just right up that wire that runs into the grommet there. I just stuck it in the side where the AC lines go underneath there. So I have it under. It's all tucked away and stuff. Yeah, I just gotta uh, strap up the plug right there just to keep it from dangling down or anything. But it sits up there pretty good. So I'll show you under the hood, or under the dash here. Just got the wire sitting uh, on the floor so far. I gotta hook up the power wires, so, but I'm gonna run the power to the same spot I run the power from the Pexi AFC Neo there. So I'm just gonna get wiring up that thing there and uh, should be able to power it all up. All right, guys, so I got it hooked up there. I just went and did it because it was such a bitch getting down in there. Freaking, uh, so yeah, I just got the gauge sitting right there for now. I'm gonna end up switching it from my boost gauge and then make a little, uh, gauge pod for down there for the boost gauge and get an oil pressure gauge and all that shit but uh I don't know I'm just about to try it out and see if it works so uh just hold on a second find my key here so yeah this thing's just powering on it's actually upside down I'm gonna have to switch that around uh set up for my other car see this thing's just heating up going through its little cycle there so it says I got like this thing's pretty good it has like a voltmeter and all that I'll turn the light off there see if it helps out the glare so yeah oh no I'm just gonna uh, set this one up for this car here so I got this thing set up pretty good now so I'll just show you a few things on it Go to the settings there, then the air map. Oh, that's still at throttle points there. Cause basically two different maps: uh, a low map, like a low throttle map, and a high throttle map. Uh, like you can set them both like separately. Like so, if you're just on like low throttle, like yeah, uh, you can set it to save fuel and stuff, like uh, get better fuel mileage and all that. But like the high throttle is like uh, where you, if you had to add more fuel, like for uh, wide open throttle and all that but uh I don't know in between it kind of like uh just like gets the average of them both there so I don't know it works kind of cool so you can see right here these are the settings for those like say if I wanted to take away a bit of fuel there just start uh minusing it out there so it's at like negative five percent right there at a thousand rpms but uh I don't know, you can just go through and uh, change all those around. It's, go, it's got it going up to 8,000 RPMs right now. So, 
yeah I'm just about to fire this all up that's all heated up so let's hold on I gotta open my garage door there so I don't kill myself so all right so yeah I got my garage door open here so I'm just about to try this out so let that go back through its little heat up cycle there yeah the good thing about those AEM wide bands too is uh, like with the innovative ones or whatever, uh, you have to like calibrate them all and shit, but these ones are like ready to go right out of the box, so it's pretty good, so hold on a minute for that thing. Should be good now, so. Yeah, so far so good, it still runs. <laughs> That's always good. So yeah, I'll just warm this up. You see right now, she's fucking idling really rich. Cause like 10.5 is like just freaking pig rich right now. So that's not very good. We can fix that up here though. So uh, usually like you don't touch it when it's uh, cold, but since it's so freaking rich, I'm gonna just start freaking changing that. So watch this shit. Yeah, so I got this here. I'm just going down to sidling about 1500. So I'm just gonna move over to this one, start freaking dropping her down. This is at about like negative six, eight now. As you can hear it, it's already starting to lean out a little bit, but it's uh, starting to idle a lot stronger now, too. So. So it's at about 10.5, 10.6 now, so it's starting to work a lot better. So really, it should be idling around like uh, 13 to 1. And that's only like 10 to 1, so that's just dumping in the gas right now. Yeah, so I'll let it warm up and I'll start uh, taking away more fuel there. But see, like already, my like 18% fuel I'm taking away there, so. Before, like with my red car, it was uh, probably about like 22% or so with the high flow fuel pump. So I'm guessing this thing has a high flow pump in it too or something. Because usually the stock ECU is not so bad. Yeah, I'll just go right to 20. See how she likes that. Yeah, sorry, the camera doesn't pick the screen up too good. It goes out of focus easy. Yeah, what about. 7% there. Yeah, so you can see now it's at about 11.3, 11.4. So it's still cold too. So uh, once it warms up, it'll get a lot better. So I'll let it warm up and then I'll come back and I'll show you guys after. Yeah, so it's warmed up pretty good now. It's at about like uh, minus 18% for the fuel at idle there. So I don't know, that should make a pretty good difference. Like obviously I'm gonna be able to take some fuel away from this setup there and uh, get better fuel mileage and all that. So I don't know, I'll show you the outside view. So you can see there, it kicked up a little bit higher idle there. Yeah, and I'll let you listen to the outside, see all those lights at night time. Yeah guys, so that's pretty much all I'm going to do for today. Uh, if you check back tomorrow, you'll see me like uh, actually driving around and I'll do the real tuning on there. I just pretty much tuned the uh, idle today. But uh, anyways, there's something I wanted to get you guys to do for me there. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a favor. Um, anyways, uh, Mazda Canada is having this uh, Defy Convention contest there. And uh, I entered this uh, picture I have where I was building my engine in my dad's driveway there. It's a pretty good picture. like has my engine uh, half built there sitting on a five gallon pail like with my uh, red car in the background there so I entered that picture but uh, I was wondering if you guys could go on Facebook and uh, vote for my picture I don't know I'll put a, a link in the bottom there so 
pretty much when you click on the link, uh, just go to view uh, entries at the top. And then uh, my picture is the one with the engine on the five gallon pail sitting in front of my car. So click on that and uh, then click the vote. So I don't know if, if you guys could do that, I'd appreciate that and everything. But uh, anyways, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.